Well, and in that bust has local drug treatment facilities working in concert with law enforcement, schools and health officials preparing for what they expect will be a wave of new patients over the next few months. Aaron Breen joins us live in the newsroom with more on the balance between resources here in our community and the need. Aaron? Well, Kristen, Nevada has the fourth highest drug overdose mortality rate in the entire country. And taking the alleged drug ring in this area out of the market, they say, is expected to impact a lot of people and a lot of treatment facilities here. Do you think this is going to impact people coming into treatment and stuff and seeking out heroin on the street? This is one group discussion at Bristlecone, a treatment facility in Reno that helps more than 380 patients a day. These folks are here for a variety of reasons, but they all know where to get prescription drugs if they want them. Were they surprised? It doesn't surprise me in a way because it has to come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Even though I was getting mine from a middleman, mm -hmm. he was getting it from another middleman. Like, so it has to come from somewhere. I probably wouldn't trust it or think it was a setup or something, I'd probably go through someone that I know. Yeah. Yeah, and there's plenty of people that I know that would do that. The point is that there are a lot of drugs on our streets and a lot of ways to get them. Facilities to help you get off those drugs, not so much. It's unfortunately a really unbalanced system. There are only a handful of us providers here in northern Nevada going from Elko down to Carson City. There's probably around 10 and there's not enough beds for all the people that do need the resources. And such a need is nothing new. There's a need even before what happened last week. We are definitely behind in resources, and so as a state, we're working with the state agency, SAPTA, to identify if there are beds in other communities. By estimation, I would say, yeah, doubling the amount of beds that we have would at least be a good starting point. And the need here is expected to spike as those looking for pain medication find new doctors or shop around for new sources and or new drugs. We won't see that for a while. They're going to see if they can continue to get their supply from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And then we will start seeing people come in and saying, I'm ready, I'm ready to get in my recovery. They also say that those addicted look for a, a new place where they could find more drugs and they're expecting to see that and also an increase in drug overdoses as well as those seeking help. Covering the story, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.